Pascal class. These young scientists are measuring chemical reactions. It's like three. Seeing how yeast reacts with different kinds of sugars. What was the uh, bean solution? The big goal is to understand how your body balances something. The lab is an important lesson about type 2 diabetes. Having that understanding makes it um, more meaningful for the students and they remember it more um, if, than if I was just you know, teaching them, here's what glucose is. Um, now they have something to connect it to. It's a part of the curriculum developed by Utah Medicine's Genome Sciences. This curriculum is important for teens because they are just launching their lives. And so not only do students need to know kind of the physiology behind it, but also the societal impacts and the ways that um, they're, they're impacted by all sorts of environmental pressures that they may not even know or recognize. More than 30 million Americans have diabetes. My grandma, she's like in the stage before diabetes, like she's a pre-diabetic. My grandpa had type 2 diabetes. Not a lot of people understand how diabetes can affect them and what can like cause diabetes. Things like lifestyle choices, the environment, and genetics can play a role. One of the factors that was really clear was the more education a person has, the uh, less their likelihood of um, having diabetes. Something these students are learning. I think made me like appreciate my health more and want to take better care of myself and like what I put into my body. There's a lot we can do to prevent it and there's a lot more we can do to like raise, raise awareness about it. Looks beautiful. From the UW Medicine Newsroom in Seattle, I'm Katie Chen.